Honorable Reverend Keith Holder. It's World AIDS Day. We are here on Times Square. We are here to stop AIDS now, end AIDS now. More than 100 showed up today. Not only staff, but our community showed up. My name is Matthew Rodriguez and I work for TheBody.com, which is the web's complete HIV AIDS resource. My father was living with HIV. He was um, an intravenous drug user and he passed away two years ago from an, an infection in his liver. It's just being a young gay man of color, I'm considered highly at risk. There's a lot of people of color who are living with HIV and there's a lot of gay men who are living with HIV. My name is Reginald Brown. I'm 61 years old. I was HIV positive diagnosed in 1986. I had AIDS diagnosis in 1997. Uh, and uh, I don't know from whom, I don't know where the point is. I got it. And once I got it, I figured out, now what do I do? At that time, there, nobody knew much about it, so I thought I was going to die in a couple of months or something. For That's a shame. We've come very far in terms of science, you know, there's a lot of treatments that are now, you know, if you're infected, um, if you're diagnosed with HIV, your doctor knows what medicines you need, he knows the side effects. Um, there's a, a lot of ways to get you to be a healthy person. However, I think whereas the medical has advanced and the scientific has advanced so far, the social has been a little sluggish in comparison. There's still so much stigma around living with HIV. As a man of color, as a gay man, as a proud gay Christian, I'm out here so that, so that people will see me and say that, oh, well look, I look like him, I look like him, well maybe I, I need to listen to this. I need to, be, I need to be represented so that some boy or girl will somewhere say, look at him, he's still here. Wow, he doesn't, he doesn't look like he has AIDS, whatever that means. So the point is, they won't know that unless I'm here.